These men are former fighters for the Ogaden National Liberation Front, which has waged a three-decade conflict in Eastern Ethiopia. The group recently signed a peace deal with the Ethiopian government. Up to 2,000 fighters have now disarmed and are preparing for reintegration into society. I'm happy that the people of this region are finally united. Our presence here doesn't mean we have relinquished our objectives and demands. We have just chosen to seek our rights peacefully. At the end of their training here at the regional capital, Jigjiga, the former rebels will have a choice between returning to civilian life or joining regional or federal security forces. We are giving them lessons to help them reintegrate. What happens from now on depends on their choices. For almost 30 years, the Ogaden region of eastern Ethiopia has been the epicenter of a bitter separatist war that pitted impoverished nomads against one of the biggest armies in Africa. Formed in 1984, the Ogaden National Liberation Front, or ONLF, as it's known here, had been fighting for the rights of ethnic Somalis living in eastern Ethiopia to self-determination, including the option of secession. In 2007, Ethiopian forces waged a large-scale offensive against the group after its fighters attacked a Chinese-run oil facility in the region, killing 74 people. The Ethiopian parliament just a few months ago removed the Ogaden National Liberation Front from its list of banned organizations as part of Prime Minister Abi Ahmed's program of political reforms. The Prime Minister who took power last April is presiding over a push to shake this nation of 100 million people from decades of security-obsessed rule. Ethiopia's breakneck diplomatic thaw with former rival Eritrea since last year also helped transform the Eritrean government from a chief sponsor of ONLF fighters to a mediator. The group's leadership is now working on turning it into a political party with the hope of taking part in elections next year. So we have to bring unity among our people, we have to bring equity and justice, we have to build institutions, we don't have institutions at all. They are all shambles. there's a lot of, you know, a culture of corruption, culture of intimidation. We have to make this a truly democratic area. The region the ONLF operated in contains 4 trillion cubic feet of gas and oil deposits, according to the Ethiopian government. With peace now achieved, the next step can only be taking advantage of the God-given resources in our region to develop our people economically. We have resources not available in other parts of Ethiopia. A Chinese farm has completed work on two gas fields in the Ogaden region. Last month, Ethiopia signed an agreement with Djibouti to have a pipeline constructed to export the gas through ports in Djibouti. It will be a while though before Ethiopia joins the League of Oil Producing Countries as the pipeline could take at least two years to complete. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Jigjiga.